what is going on hope you guys are doing great out here for a little bit of afternoon fishing with my buddy miles and uh, i've never been here but it seems like we found ourselves a pretty solid spot we got bait fish everywhere multiple different types of structure and cover we got grass flats mangrove line the bridge that we're standing on so i'm thinking we are going to be able to find some nice fish around here also i'd like to say the channel is growing i put up like one video and that thing did incredibly well so welcome if you're new hope you guys enjoy we're going to get doing some fishing here got a little small swim bait we're going to start off with matching the hatch as a lot of these look like glass minnows or whatnot so uh, it should be great. Stick with us. Pelicans diving everywhere. There's fish jumping over by those mangroves there. So we'll probably have to move around here. And uh, we have some current flow kind of uh, towards the end of a falling tide. So the water level is going to be pretty low, but uh, for guys with uh, two legs that can walk around in the water, I think that's pretty good circumstances. We should be able to wander around the mangrove points and hopefully get on some fish that way if we can't just get on them by casting from the beach or this bridge here. And uh, that's like a 3 16 ounce finesse eyes with a Slam Shady uh, Slim Swim 2.5, which uh, I didn't know they made the 2.5 Slim Swims in Slam Shady. So I'm pretty stoked. Normally I just kind of use like the pearl color, but I mean, how can I not use the Slam Shady? I mean, like that color is just good. Let that sink, move it in here. At the very least, we'll probably find some ladyfish here, which, you know, on lighter tackle, they can be pretty fun. At least get the skunk off your back, but I don't know, this spot looks like it should harbor a lot more than just that, as I've been going on about. Update, I'm in the water, and these ain't water shoes, but there is a channel up here that deepens out and i don't know i feel like we should be getting on a little bit more fish for the spot that we're in but i have a feeling that that's uh connected to the tide we don't really have a very favorable tide right now for uh for getting on some fish it's pretty much the end of a falling tide and it's pretty low. So I don't know how far we can get, but it looks like there's a sandbar. And I mean, I'm not trying to get trapped out here, but uh, I feel like if we wade up here and get to where it deepens out into a channel and all the water's flowing out, that might've been a spot where some fish might've dropped down into. And if that's the case, we might be able to find something there. So I'm just slowly making my way over there. So uh, I'll uh, get the camera rolling again once I do get up there. So far, we found a chunk of meat. That's about it. You know, actually, I just want to show you something. I think this is kind of interesting. I always see the mangrove sprouts kind of just floating around everywhere but it's cool to be in a spot where you're seeing where they're anchoring down like in here they're all getting trapped right there and if left undisturbed there might be a little mangrove island here in you know 10 years or however long it takes to grow so very interesting a lot of shorebirds poking around that's cool but this is what i'm looking at all right there's not any grass here but there's some current flow coming out of here because that tide is still falling, although it's the end of the tide. And I think that this deeper spot might be, and pardon the wind here, uh, where they're uh, holding. Because yeah, it, it 
visibly drops down. So let's let's try it, dude. Let's try it. Really let that sink. I don't know how deep it is here, but based off the map, it looked like uh, substantially deeper. Like, and it drops off. This. All right. See you, man. Good luck. All right, Miles is uh, working the opposite little sandbar on the other side of the bridge. So, however that goes, hopefully well. That's a fish, right there. Not fighting like a lady or anything. I have no idea what this is. Oh, he's really holding in that current, dude. Lighting up on him a little bit. I don't know how big this fish is. He seems to be just riding the current right now. Oh, okay. It is just a squeaker jack. <laughs> okay, buddy. All right. You know, you know, I'll take it, dude. I will take it. That's probably the biggest of the squeaker jack I've ever caught. I really have never caught a big jack creval, but there he is in all his uh, grunty glory. Be gone. For a second, I was freaking me out because he was really riding the current. I feel like a big fish would have totally ridden the current, and then once he felt the pressure of the rod just completely dusted me. Oh no. We got on a fish. Excellent. Excellent day. I don't know, I keep saying this spot's good, but we gotta we gotta see how good it really is. Skunks off the back though. So that is fine by me. Those are some jack slaw, man. What happened here? Oh, man. See, Elastec stays on the hook, but it, it, uh, it rolls around on you. Especially after a good fish or a really good hit. That is a lot of pelicans. They're falling into line, into formation. Interesting. Uh, what the heck? Gotta be jacks, dude. Gotta be little jacks. Oh man, we uh, smoked one of those little pilchards. All right, still nothing but that jack and a snag. I feel like I'm starting to get bit up by some no-seeums. That is no goodums. Gosh, we just got smoked by something. What is this? I'm fighting him in the current. Oh, snook. Okay. Okay. Loosen up on him. We do have some light tackle. We definitely have some light tackle we're working with here. Not a big snook, but heck yeah. Real good feeling to smoke one. Or have one smoke us, I suppose. Depending on how you look at it. Sweet, dude. Are you kidding me? This is awesome. 
This is fantastic right here. I thought I saw something bigger kind of pop the surface out of my peripheral. So awesome. All right, I'm gonna set my stuff down and we'll uh, show buddy off to the camera here. All right, we got a lip on Schnookums right here. That hook uh, is hanging on by a thread. I just kind of popped it out. Nice little snook there. Maybe 18 inches, maybe. All right, no size to them, but we found what we were looking for in these tough tide conditions. That is fantastic. I hardly took him out of the water, so he should pretty much have his bearings already. Shove them off. All right, dude, let's go. That's great. That's fantastic. That was excellent, no question. Now let's get back to fishing. Now I haven't been catching any big snook recently. I've been catching some, some solid ones, but all those, uh, you know, smaller scale snook, I'd say probably that size, like the one we just caught up to maybe 25 inches is a stretch. They've all been smoking that little slim swim. Cause, uh, I don't know. I think it looks very much like a little pilchard. And those pilchards have been pretty much everywhere I've been fishing. So really just matching the hatch, nothing crazy. Oh my gosh. I feel like they're all like little jacks, but stuff is getting just lit up over there. It's gotta be little jacks, but if that isn't a little jack, I don't know what it is. Those are some pretty recognizable head shakes. Pretty recognizable head shakes. What did I say? What did I say? Wet our hands here. Always good to wet your hands. There he is, a little grunter. I don't know why people don't wet their hands. Like, you're doing the fish and yourself a disservice because the slime doesn't stick to your hands as well when your hands are wet. It's good for the fish because you're not taking it from them. And it's good for you because you're not getting it all over your hands. Left my bag in the mangroves for like 10, 15 minutes and I had little crabs all over the place on it. There you go, buddy. Get on that branch and just chill out. And make our way off this little sandbar here and catch up with Miles. Then we'll probably change spots. Just because this is a new place, you know, kind of experimental, just kind of looking around. That's a fish right there. Little Jack, the Crack Craval. There he is, speaking to us. Don't have uh, very much more time, but we're gonna finish up on this side of the bridge here. See if we can get on something with the uh, 20 minutes or so we got left. Hopefully it's good. That is really deep on this side. What? Just smoked it on the side there on the drop. Oh my gosh. Holy crap, dude. Are you kidding me?
Oh my gosh, bro. Snook just cracked it, bro, on the drop. Right next to the wall, man. Are you kidding me? That's crazy awesome. That is crazy good. All right, buddy. That what caught me off guard, for sure. All right, buddy, come on now. Come on now. Whoa. Just hope he doesn't fray us off or anything. Kinda, kinda feel like we're pulling him a bit. But I got a loose drag, so I feel like we're probably fine. Hey, get out of there. Yeah, he's got that thing choked, dude. Try to walk him down here so we can land him. All right, let's land buddy old pal here. Come on now. Come on now. That's an upgrade. Not much bigger, but enough to tell the difference when we're fighting them. Dandy little snook right there. I say that's uh, pretty good for just showing up to the spot. Hit it on the drop, dude. Completely caught me off guard. Sweet. All right, let's get him back. Awesome. So stoked about that. Yeah, you should here. Sweet. Let's go. This thing is literally a knot, dude. Like, there's... <laughs> it's, like, so tied up in a knot. It's crazy. We've been hooking them in really good spots, all in the corner of the mouth. Like, that is very minimal frayage. Oh, yeah, that sunset's really nice. right there yeah good thump good thump right on the wall dude mm -hmm. yeah. don't know what that was well that's something down there hit it what is up hope you guys enjoyed that video of miles and i fishing around at a new spot but as i leaned against this uncomfortable barbed wire fence i thought i'd fill you in on a few things so first off that video is very old i shot that like the 23rd of october and uh i was in michigan for a whole month during winter break but that didn't go too well as far as fishing great break but Fishing just wasn't happening. I tried steelhead fishing. We never got any ice for ice fishing. And I even uh, hopped around some creeks, but I just couldn't really make it happen. So we're back in Florida now. And I'm hung up on this fence. But uh, we're going to keep grinding, keep getting some videos out. But I just wanted to let you know that. Once again, if you're new to the channel, welcome. And uh, can't wait to see you in the next video. Peace. Later. Really have enjoyed my stay, but I must be moving on. Hope I'm it's been nice. Hope you 